I want you to look at God. God got married. This is God. Ezekiel chapter 60 from the verse number 8. This is God. Before you jump at me and say, this man of God is, is wealthy. <laughs> Leave me alone. And let's go to God. God is getting married. And look at God. How God is going to dress his wife. The verse number 8. Read. I want you to be quite fast because of time. Uh -huh. Then I passed by you again. Uh -huh. And looked on you. Mm. Behold, you were maturing at the time for love. God is talking to Jerusalem. How he married the Jerusalem. And God said, I look at you and you were maturing for love. I passed by. I was observing you. God is first looking at the woman. Observing the woman. Mm. And I've realized that your breast has come. You are now maturing for love. Yes, uh -huh. yes, and I spread my skirt over you. And God said, I spread my skirt over you. And covered your nakedness. Then I covered your nakedness. Yes. Yes. I swore an oath to you mm -hmm. and entered into a covenant with you. God said, then I took you to church and then we exchanged vows. Uh huh. Says the Lord. Say the Lord. You became mine. Then you became my wife, Jerusalem. God married Jerusalem as a woman. Uh huh. Then I washed you with water. So the first thing God did for Jerusalem was that He washed him with the wet. The washing of water, which is the word yeah. in Ephesians chapter 5. As Paul was also describing that. The washing of water, which is the word. So the first thing that God gave to his wife was the word. That's what I'm saying. You are, God made the wife good for food. So God is first making the wife good for food. God first washed her with the water. Uh huh. Yes, I thoroughly washed away from you the blood and anointed you with oil. Then God said, you are not done. I'm not done with my woman. I'm first giving her a good character with weight. Then after that, I will anoint her. You will have God is having a wife that can speak in tongues. Kibala, suto, kabalaba. Hey, hey, hey. So God is married a born again child of God. Who is anointed? She can sing in the church. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. She's so good with church work. She's in the media department and she's in the ocean department. She herself is the church protocol. She herself she's she's working all over the church. God bless you. That's what God did for the wife. Uh huh. I also clothed you with embroidered cloths. Uh huh. And put sandals of porpoise skin on mm -hmm. your feet. Mm -hmm. And I rubbed you with fine linen. And covered you with silk. Did you hear that? God is now dressing the wife. Yeah. I covered you with fine linen. And covered you with silk. This is God's wife. Uh -huh. I adorn you with ornaments. Did you hear that? Oh. Oh. And I put bracelets on your wrist. Child of God. God is describing what he did to his queen God took the queen for shopping <laughs> and began to adorn her with what? with ornaments with ornaments and put bracelets on the wrist then I put bracelets Look, this is God how she's dressed he's dressing Jerusalem uh -huh. And a necklace around your neck. Then I put a necklace on your neck. I put a ring on your nostril. Then I put a ring on your nose. And earrings in your ears. Then I put earrings in your ears. And Not earring. Earrings. Earrings. In your ears. In your ears. <laughs> Emphasis on earrings. All these things, if a Christian woman does this, she's welded. And yet this is what the Christian men are attracted to. Why? Because God is attracted to this. 
If God lives in you, no matter how you fight that I don't like this, you will like it. Okay. <laughs> Why? Because God himself, this is how he dresses his woman. So if God comes to live in you, and you say, me, I don't like a woman that has, 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 has a nose ring. I don't like a woman that has, 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 has two earrings, I don't, four earrings. I don't like a woman that has pierced her nose. I don't like a woman that has plated her hair. There is a day that that God manifestation will come. Will come. And that day, you would look at another woman who is not your wife. And then you will commit adultery with a hair in your heart.